Now Angela Merkel's visit to a bailed out Portugal is causing a stir. To discuss the latest events in the Eurozone, we're joined by Oliver Yannick. He's a uh, leader of the Libertarian German Party of Reason. He's also a journalist and author, therefore we're delighted that he's on RT International. Good evening, sir. Um, the Portuguese, as we've been reporting at the beginning of this hour, are taking this uh, very personally. Why are they so angry at Angela Merkel when it's their government's decisions, end of the day? Of course they are angry. Uh, I would be angry too. When people are in trouble, they get angry uh, and they are looking for an enemy. But the problem is they don't know who the real enemy is. It is the central banking system and the, pem uh, the paper money system and not Angela Merkel. Mm. Angela Merkel, she, she's got a hard sales job on her hands here, isn't she? I mean, time has proven, time and time again, as we've witnessed, bailouts and austerity have so far failed to save Greece. What makes Angela Merkel think that they're going to work in Portugal then? How is she going to sell that one? Oh, they do, uh, she does not think that it's working. She's not optimistic. She's just lying to the people. This is what politicians usually do. They lie to the people. She knows that uh, Portugal can never pay back uh, this debt because in, in the paper money system, you cannot pay back debt because um, money is created out of debt. I urge your listeners to, to go to uh, the Austrian economics. Uh, they, are, they explain it. Um, you cannot pay back debt. When, when the money is created out of debt. We're watching closely over the weekend, seeing what would happen last night, especially in Greece. The Greek Prime Minister said that the current cuts there will be his country's last, and that Merkel's actually delivered quite an optimistic message on Portugal uh, be, be, before her visit today. What light at the end of the tunnel are they seeing that the rest of the public can't? You're putting that down to lies as well? Yeah, that's the same answer. They don't see any light. They only want to get re-elected. It's, a, it's, a, it's mathematics. You can't pay back the debt, and everybody knows it. Yeah, but everybody hang on, they're going to run out of breath. If, 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 if that actually was the case, it's a bit simplistic, because they're going to run out of breath in space and bang into a big brick wall quite quickly, uh, if that is the case, aren't they? Uh, <laughs> I mean, you can, you can take all the figures and, and mix them up. Um, it's simple mathematics. You can't pay, uh, pay it back. There's no, there's no um, you cannot avoid the bankruptcy. Uh, the, these countries are all bankrupt. They just have to declare it and admit it to the public, but they won't. Um, a geopolitical consultant we spoke to a bit earlier on in the programme said EU countries are sacrificing their interests to stay in the euro. Now, at this point, would dropping out do much harm to the economy like, say, Greece, for instance? That's really on its uppers, isn't it? Of course, it would uh, do harm to the people and to the country. But the harm would be even greater if you delay uh, to drop out of the eurozone and uh, better to drop out of the paper money system. It does harm. There's no way to avoid this. Uh, every paper money collapse um, goes this way. So you can't avoid the harm. Oliver, that's the theory. It's a strong theory you've got there. But what do you really think is going to happen? I think they will prolong it as long as it's possible. The European stability mechanism will inflate the currency further and they were, the banksters will make much money out of this because now you, you get the real money, you get free lunch because if you know that governments are buying these bonds and you buy before that, then you, you make huge profits and this is the reason why they delay the collapse. Oliver Yannick, uh, leader of the German uh, Libertarian Party of Reason, also journalist and author, thanks for being on the programme, giving us your thoughts.